No, you cannot drive, Evan. No. <laughs> I know you'd like to, but I don't think Mark would like it. Oh, now look, I made him that sad. Sorry, Evan. I'm Greg from RV Haulers, and this is official business today. Well, it's kind of fun, too. We're sitting inside of Dusty, the 2015, that Mark has entrusted with us. We've put the bed on Dusty, we've installed brake controllers, cameras, drum boxes, all kinds of stuff, and this is going to be his inaugural trip. We've hooked up our, uh, right now it should be about 17,500 pound Mountain Air fifth wheel trailer. And this is going to be the first test. Now I've got as my co-pilot, Tom from Washington. Tom appeared in our driveway, invited. He was invited. He's been staying in our campground here for the last few days. And we've got Evan in the back. We're just going to slowly mosey on out and test everything with Dusty before Mark comes and takes his uh, gorgeous 2015 away. And remember, this is official business. How's this for a job? Oh, better turn off that camera. Just watching. Yeah, it's a bit of a long break. Making corners. I have an awesome job. <laughs> well, we're gonna hit the highway. And uh, Dusty's been warming up for a little bit. He's been idling, so he's nice and warm. Make sure everything works good. We'll give you a report back in a few minutes. gentle. This is not my truck. So there's ninth gear. Oh, well, we're going uphill. It's shifted down to eight.
took the direct link, great controllers, and it's nice to have friends at Volvo. They uh, allowed me to connect the great controller into a whole bunch of trucks on their yard that they own, and we really did determine that direct link will not communicate with the newer model trucks. Uh, the reason is, in recent years, there have been some tuners, some fellows who have been able to break the code of Volvo trucks and make changes to the computer programming. Uh, definitely not something that I would ever recommend you do without Volvo's uh, involvement, but nonetheless, some people have done that and have created real headaches for Volvo. So what happened, sorry, I'm just watching traffic. Okay. Um, so what happened is Volvo was forced to put some new uh, security on the network. So devices now that come into the network of the Volvo seem to have to have some kind of a handshake or uh, essentially a password or an authentication to be allowed to get information from the truck. So what we've been forced to do is uh, go to a Hayes Air Actuated Brake Controller. It is a true, still, a true proportional braking mechanism. So the harder I press on the brake, the more brake uh, signal is sent back to my, in this case, electric over hydraulic brakes. Uh, or if you have just electric brakes, it works too. And I'm really happy with how, what the feel is like. I can really tell that my trailer is, is stopping straight and giving us a little bit of assistance in braking. But there's a little gotcha that we learned. If you have a, possibly a 2013, please check. Certainly a 2014, 15, or 16, you may want to look at the Hayes brake controllers instead of direct link. Thanks, Evan. Tom from Washington, the uh, expert in smart car loading. I mean, he's loaded this smart car on his mica more than me. He's going to help us out get Dusty tested out today. So Tom from Washington, the owner of mica is probably one of the best smart car loaders in the industry. I think he's got uh, more than 100 loads. I don't know how many he has. But we're going to use his smart car to test out Dusty here. I got it. This one? I thought all sides were good sides. Uh, no. no. This is Greg hauling his smart car up on Dusty. 2015 Volvo. Beautiful truck. Mark's going to have a great experience with this one. Here to let us use his car? I told him it's just Greg's car with the Washington license. <laughs> Well, Mark, I think your Dusty's ready. We've pulled a trailer, we've tested brakes, loaded a smart car successfully, and you sure have a nice looking rig. I'm Greg from RV Haulers. If you have any questions about the RV Haulers that we build, please use the comments field down below. 
And something you can do to help me quite a bit is if you like what we're doing here, please give me a thumbs up on YouTube. It helps other people find our videos. Our website is www.rvhaulers.ca. Thanks for watching.